this is Mackenzie with Capital to Coach Realty with my awesome sidekick, Monica. Yes. <laughs> and we are here downtown Cary, and she's going to share one of her favorite lunchtime restaurants. Yes. Um, another great downtown eatery we have in Cary is Academy Street Bistro. Um, great salad, sandwiches. They also have a great dinner menu as well, so you really should um, check it out when you have time. I love it when we park down here. It's kind of like in the middle of everything. So you can kind of park, eat here, and then walk around everything that downtown Cary has to offer. And as we start walking down, big changes to the area that we've already been talking about. Mm -hmm. And the biggest one right now are the urban apartments that they are building. Mixed-use space because so much growth is happening in this area. But a lot of people are finding or doing are they're moving down here from other states they're renting apartments to check out the feel of all the different towns and the different cities. And so this is a great way to get that vibe, get that feel, mm -hmm. central area of Cary to then kind of figure out where they, where they want to settle, where mm -hmm. they want to settle. And so that's kind of what we're seeing how in the development area, there isn't much land for houses no. <laughs> in this area, right? <laughs> all built People out. are having to go on the outskirts mm -hmm. of Cary. It's still the most desirable city. We talk about the triangle, right? Living in the triangle. I would say that yes. Cary is still the most I'd desirable. I'd say it's still number one. Mm -hmm. Number one city. And so they're just trying, they're building up since they can't build out. So we'll show you a little bit more of downtown Cary has to offer in just a few minutes. Realty. So Monica and I are strolling down this beautiful walkway in Cary and we've passed our wonderful boutique hotel that was established in 2016, the Maiden Inn. Monica, what do you know about that Maiden Inn? So it took five years of planning and construction to, to get it completed. I think it fits in beautifully with the historic look of downtown Cary. Absolutely. And amazing restaurant inside, Peck and Plume. Love it. Great brunch. Delicious and has a great outdoor seating area as well. Yep. They have a place to have bridal showers, wedding showers, any kind of party on the back deck, which looks over the beautiful Cary Park. And we're going to show you some of that a little further in the video. Then we're going to come up upon the Cotton House. Um, Cotton House during the spring and summer has food trucks out here that you can enjoy in addition to the wonderful beverages that they serve inside. The back of it also looks out over the new Cary Park as well. Exactly. And they also allow you with a plastic cup to walk around um, the area with an adult beverage, as we say. So a lot of fun that that's come about for Cary. Um, and once again, you get to see the crown jewel of Cary. Um, you'll understand why they're having these things come about. We are at the end of Academy Street of downtown Cary, and we are so excited that in 2019, the town of Cary is seeing the growth built to our brand new library that houses over 90,000 books. We're super proud of that structure and how many visitors come to check it out every single day, local and not. That's great. 90,000 books, huh? 90,000 books. As a former teacher, I love that I know, number. I knew she would. Number. She would be so sad. <laughs> exactly. Well, across the street is what originally was the, excuse me, Cary Elementary High School and also elementary back in the day. They finally converted this in 2011 to an art center. They do all kinds of plays and all kinds of different things there for young people. And it's amazing what they've done with that space and also keeping it pretty much like it was. So I think it's a compliment to Cary and the town, how they keep incorporating what was and growth. Absolutely. And as uh, somebody who lives in Cary and had kids go through the Cary Park system, mm -hmm. I cannot tell you how many different activities that they have going in and out of that during the summer, during spring break. There's always so much to do for the kids. So they go inside. We did clay. We did um, plays. You, Pottery, name, it. you name it. Absolutely. Yep. And then now we get to come and we get to share with you um, downtown Cary Park because it is spectacular. It's not only because of the central location of Cary that makes it such a desirable area to live. It is the home prices and it's the home value and equity that homeowners are gaining from living here. So we have these beautiful condos behind us and in less than five years, they have almost doubled in their home value. And there's no signs of that stopping. So that's why people are here as an investment long-term and also to raise their families. Another so thing I really love about Cary is we have all this new development coming, um, new housing, new restaurants, but it's also mixed in 
with some of our historic uh, buildings, such as the First Baptist Church of Cary. It's been here since 1874, just three years after the town was incorporated, um, has been on this site. Of course, the buildings have changed over the years, but has been on this site that whole time. And then you can't forget across the street is the pink house that we all have come to know and love. And the kids, when they were little, would walk down the street like, Mom, it's the pink house. Do you think they're ever going to paint it? And um, it has just been an establishment there. And it's kind of changed hands a few times. But I can't imagine that not being part of the landscape here in downtown Cary. So we're going to keep walking and show you one of the coolest developments of our area. And that is our downtown Cary Park. So here we are, the crown jewel. Cary, so exciting. So exciting. So this opened in November of 2023. Mm -hmm. We all were just patiently waiting. Patiently. patiently. I, oh. I wasn't being very patient. But. You were. <laughs> uh, I thought you were. <laughs> and there's so much here to do and see. There's plenty to do for your family. There's children's park, the big and little one. They have a dog park. And by the way, they have a bar for the dog park. It's kind of fun. A little different. And they have a big and little dog park. They do. They do. Yes. Um, they also have an amphitheater. Mm -hmm. There's also an event space up there that you can run out. Um, it's just amazing. I can't wait to come for the first event down here. I know, and it opening up in, I think, the winter time and fall and winter, it's just kind of all of the things haven't all come out yet. Yeah. And so it's been really great to just explore the area without, I think it's going to be very busy <laughs> this too. spring and this summer because literally no matter what your age is, it's, there's going to be something for everybody yes. to do. The one thing I'm really excited about is in the summertime that they're going to line the back street of the park with all the different food trucks. And they've got yep. where they can just kind of plug in their generators and they're silent for the neighbors across the street, I heard. Yes, which they appreciate since they paid seven fifty, but are now at $1.5. They appreciate right. silent. <laughs> that is very true. <laughs> and so they really thought about everything. And how can this be a multi-purpose multi space throughout the year? Yeah. Which is what I love about and it. And they've done it. And then again, let's pan over just a really quick. There's the Maiden Inn and the space we were talking about earlier where you can go and have um, your showers, birthday parties, whatever. And then the cot the back of the cotton house. So, you know, you can do a lot of things here. It's just, it's very versatile. They really tried to make sure that this part could be seen at so many angles and it's beautiful. It's well worth the uh, wait, I think. Absolutely. And the last thing I'll just think about is the forethought of the owners of the Cotton House. Because mm -hmm. like we said, at the beginning of the series, there was not much here at all. Mm -mm. And so for those who invested in downtown Cary early. early, and now they are just a hop, skip, and a jump from, like you said, the crown jewel of Cary. Mm -hmm. It's just um, all the growth has just been amazing. And it's been I'm very honored to be part of this community. I am too. And we appreciate you watching our videos about Carrie, and if you have any questions in regards to lending, you can reach out to my team at 919-234-7415. And if you're reaching out to a lender, that means you probably are looking to purchase a home. So I would love to be your resource here at Capital to Coast. My name again is Mackenzie, 919-264-5481. Just know us as loving the locals.